Tonight, Jeff Bixby completes his interview with Mr. Bill Mole, the global walker for AIDS research. Mr. Mole tells us about some of his adventures while walking across the country. When you're weary. You know, there are many people who do their share locally, statewide, and nationally to promote AIDS awareness. There are some people who do more than their share. But with me today is a young man who is doing even beyond more than his fair share. Try walking about 25,000 miles around the world. Right. Bill, Mole, uh, welcome to Cincinnati and the Gay Cable Network. Thank you very much. Now, of course, you can't walk across the Atlantic and the Pacific right. Ocean, so you're compensating for that. Tell yeah, how you're doing that. There's 10,000 miles of water around the world we have to go through. So I'm doing the United States three times. I already did it from New York to San Francisco, and then I did it from San Francisco, Reno to Las Vegas, Denver to here. We go back to Washington, to, then to Florida, to New York, to Boston, then off to England. So you've already been once across the country and most of the way back. Right. So, and I met a lot of interesting people. I lost 20 pounds. Um, I'm 41 now. <laughs> I've had a lot of nice people, but I have some setbacks too, but we have a lot of good things that happen along yeah, the way. Yeah, along that later. You're in great spirits. You're uh, very positive, aware, yeah. and uh, that, of course, is 99% of uh, keeping one's health right. together. And that's really good too, because I meet a lot of people who are tested positive, and they come up and thank me because a lot of people just seem to sit around and wait for something to happen yeah, to them. Yeah. So it's nice to get out and Where meet actually with Actually, you have decided to do something positive and to go forward and tend to worry about it and think right. about it. And that's, that's, a, that's a tribute. Uh, you had quite a warm welcome here in Cincinnati. Uh, yeah. Roger, bring that little, uh, not even just Cincinnati, but we have a number of proclamations here that have been put in a frame. Here is one signed by Mayor Charles Lucan himself proclaiming Bill Mole and World Health Organization Global Walk for AIDS Research Day. That might be not special for you, but I think it is for all Cincinnatians. Uh, it's very good for Charlie to do that. Uh, then I got one here from uh, Columbus's Columbus. mayor, yeah. right? And, and then, then um, when Cleveland's I, mayor. Yeah, mayor, when I so. turned 41, they gave me a proclamation for my birthday and wished me luck. That's great. And then we got a nice article in today's paper. There's only one mistake in today's paper because they said we robbed, robbed twice with money, but it was actually all belongings. It's just video. belongings. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Roger. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you I Moving was going to talk board. about the highs and the lows. I mean, you, you were robbed twice of some belongings. Uh, right. Well, in New York, out. when we first started, we got robbed of our video equipment in New York. And then we got robbed in Denver, five uh, bags and all my personal belongings. Mm -hmm. uh, even our video, uh, all, some of our videos and our um, computer printout as well. So we, all the contacts we had was lost. So you depend very yeah. much on the cities that you get to to, to, to get support and to go into the city, have everything basically set by somebody within the city, right. drumming up the right. stuff. We go to some places and we get some accusations that we Yeah, there was a little bit of controversy, where, in Wichita or Kansas yeah, City? Yeah, Wichita. Actually, it was Kansas City, Missouri, because they made a mistake on one of the posts and said AMFR instead of the World Health Organization. Somebody went and phoned up the detective to have me arrested for fraud, and they found out it was a mistake by the bar. They owner. called AMFAR to ask if you were doing this, and right. they said no. And right. So what, the bar owners apologized to this fella. Well, state. you got a letter from Elizabeth Taylor, too. Yeah, right. That keeps me going. When I felt like giving up, like sometime the last few days, I felt like it because some of the bad tell, things. I mean, tell them about the letter. I mean, it came yeah. when? It came in January, uh, 88, and uh, she's wishing me luck. And actually, I have it here, and it's really great. And um, it tells me if it's people like us that keep things going. And I keep reading it every time I feel like giving up, and it keeps me going. And then I got to meet Sonny Bono, the mayor of Palm Springs. Yeah. And uh, he's actually shorter than the pitch. He's standing on the steps. And uh, <laughs> really nice pit, fella. And we got to meet a lot of interesting people along the country. And we got about 22 proclamations all together so far. Met with the mayor of Atlanta. Um, all kinds of things that's been happening, which is good. We met with, uh, one day I was walking, and Ron had to go to Indianapolis to promote me before I got there. So I was left alone on the highway, 22 miles out. And we stopped. I just needed some water, so I knocked on the first door I came to. It was a nice lady. She was 77. She heard about me on the radio, invited me in, put me in the air-conditioned room, and I just asked for some water. She gave me a nice glass of iced tea, ice cream and cake, and then she made some uh, sandwiches. And then she walked out the driveway with me and waved goodbye to me. So the next day we went back and took some photographs. Of Here is your uh, signature sheet, right? Yeah, it's 750 feet long. It has about 13,000 signatures. And um, you're going to be giving that to George Bush when you get to uh, New uh, Washington exactly. in October. And this is uh, in Wichita, Kansas. This is the number one city. This is an eight-year-old boy who's carrying our flag. And we got a little girl carrying our Canadian flag. Bill? And she's from Detroit. Thank you very much. Thank Best you. Best of luck to you. And we can't do it without your help and all the people up there, too, because every bit, every bit helps.